Today I want to show you how to animate texture swapping with the help of Voice-O-Matic. We will be creating automatic lip sync, but instead of a bone rig or morph targets, we will animate swapping textures. For this example, I have created a material and assigned this material to a plane. It could be a mouth texture if we wanted to, that we would apply to a character's head, for example. So in this material, we have a composite material. And this composite material has a series of layers. Each of these layers consist of a mouth position image and have been renamed in order to clearly see which mouth position it represents. Now, let's launch Voice-O-Matic and set up our test audio file. If we look at the various mouth positions listed by default in Voice-O-Matic, most of them are available in our current list of layers. But instead of picking the morph targets, we will be using MaxScript to animate the opacity of a layer. So here is the MaxScript command that we can use to access and to animate the various layers opacity. Now. The layer's opacity number that you can see here is in fact the layer's number. So if we type in a value of 5, we will access the E layer. With that in mind, I will just go ahead, copy this, and to set up all the various visemes in Voice-O-Matic, I will use the MaxScript tool. We can just type in the command. So for A, the A mouth position, it is layer 3 and we will just do that for every mouth position so for the E visime we can see that it is layer 5 for FV we can see that it is layer 4 for L it's 6 for MBP 8 for O it is layer 2 for S we will use the consonants one which is layer number 7 we will skip TH, and for UWQ, we will use number 9. You can see here that layer number 9 does not have a Bezier controller. I will just cancel that, and I will turn on Auto Key, and just create a keyframe. I will then delete this keyframe. This little trick of creating and deleting a keyframe allows us to rapidly apply a controller without having to go in the curves editor to add a controller. I can now just go ahead and pick the layer number 9. Next, I simply need to click create keys. But before that, let's just make sure what kind of interpolation we have. We want stepped interpolation, so we don't create a cross dissolve animation. So just pick the stepped interpolation, hit create keys, and let Voice-O-Matic do its magic. Now let's look at the results. With Voice-O-Matic, create quality lip sync in a snap. That's pretty cool, right? What we have done is we have animated the textures with Voice-O-Matic. We can easily adjust the timing just by using the various values and settings inside of Voice-O-Matic. Or, we can just select the various keyframes and do the adjustments like with any other type of facial animations. The advantage of using this technique is that with many video game engines, we see more and more cases where stylized cartoon characters have their textures being swapped for lip syncing, instead of animating the geometry. Thank you for watching this presentation. You can get the trial version of Voice-O-Matic on our website at www.diomatic.com.